Hello everyone, today I want to make a quick video showing you how to edit STL files in Fusion 360. I actually covered this in a video as a part of a video uh, some time ago, but I think this is a topic that deserves its own video because uh, this uh, I'm sure a lot of people want to edit STL files. And uh, I also have the normal CAD model of the file that I'm going to import just for demonstration because there are some differences. So uh, yeah, I guess let's get to it. You start by inserting the mesh file, which is the STL file. And uh, that file is this. So there we go, it's imported and this is how it looks. Now uh, you'll notice a lot more lines on this. This is because this is a mesh file, not a BREP. And the difference is this file is defined as points and lines in the geometry. This is defined as polygons or in case of an STL, it's just triangles. So if we zoom in a lot, we can see that there is a one edge, two edge, three edge, and they get combined here. So that's a triangle and there are many, many triangles on this and that's how the STL files are saved. So that's the difference. But there we go, this is the mesh we imported. This is the other thing I have. So uh, to convert this to a BRAP, it's fairly simple, but uh, Fusion 360 does hide it a bit. So if we right click on this, you can see that there is no option to convert this. What you have to do is right click on the project and select do not capture design history. And now if we right click on this, we can see the option to convert the mesh to BRAP. So we just do that. It will warn you about too many faces. That's usually the case, especially with STL files, but it allows you to continue, which it usually does. But if it doesn't, you can move to the mesh workplace here and then uh, use the reduce option here on this. And that will uh, reduce the polygons on your mesh. But in our case, since this is enough, we can just directly convert it to uh, BREP. So just go back to solid and then we have the option here, mesh to BREP and we do the conversion. Sometimes this will take a few seconds. Fusion 360 likes to take its time, but it is completed now. And it automatically disables the mesh, so we only have the new body here. And uh, you can still see the lines, and that is because it's converted from mesh, but if we just select one face on this and hit delete on the keyboard, there we go, it got rid of a lot of those triangles. So what you have to do is just go through uh, the flat sides and just uh, delete on the triangles that are on uh, flat sides. So uh, like this we can get rid of most of them. But there will be some artifacts that remain still. So I'm not going to do this whole thing just to make the video a bit shorter. But uh, yeah, you can see for example this corner, it is rounded. And because of the way the mesh files are saved, you can't just uh, use delete to convert this to a round side. It's basically a many-sided polygon at this point, but uh, you can fix this by just uh, get deleting it and then redoing that side if you really have to fix it. But uh, if you're just after doing quick fixes on your STL file, well, just leave them as is, especially because once you export that same STL file, even if you fix it, the STL file will be like this anyway. So, you know, there's not much point in fixing that. But the flat sides, as I said, you can fix by just hitting delete on your keyboard and it is that simple. And once you get rid of the unnecessary polygons, you can do your modification. For example, let's say you wanted to fix this. I obviously have the original CAD, so this is not why I imported this, this is just for demonstration. But there we go. If you wanted to fix this, you can very easily fix that. And uh, there we go. So I hope this video was useful to you. When I was starting with the 3D printing hobby four years ago, I thought there was no good way to edit STL files. And I discovered this only like two years ago or something. But yeah, this is a very quick and easy way to edit STL files if you have to, if you can't get the CAD files. So I hope you found this useful. If you did, please leave me a like down below and thanks for watching.